Hey, kiddo. Time to get up. Okay, just dropped my last kid off at school. It's time for me to get to work. And, uh, yeah. So, see you after. Well, that's a wrap for the day. And now it's time to feed my turtle. Actually, it's not my turtle. It's my son's turtle, my seven-year-old. He, um, he was not doing the best in school. So to motivate him, uh, I said that if he was to do better, that he would be able to get a pet. And the pet of choice was his turtle. So let's show you what he looks like. There he is hiding. But it's feeding time now, even though he is hiding in there. I'll come out in a little bit. But anyway, so now I'm gonna get changed and start getting dinner together. On the menu is pork chops and baked potato. And um, it's my grandpa's birthday. <laughs> So here I am stabbing all of the potatoes with the fork um, just so that they cook well that way. Um, I don't like to peel my potatoes because I feel like when I peel them they are not as flavorful so to keep the peels on and then boil them, I mean you can peel them once they're done boiling but um, I like to keep the skins on just because I feel like they're, you know. They have some nutritional value, so why get rid of that? So now what I'm doing is taking my pork chops and I'm going to sprinkle this Kinder seasoning all over it. It is a butter flavored seasoning and it is amazing. I don't use anything else with it. I used to pair it with like a garlic salt or garlic seasoning and you know onion seasoning or onion powder, things like that. But I found that just using this on its own, it really... It's, it, you don't need anything else. I feel like using other things kind of took away from this the seasoning itself. So I highly recommend getting any Kinder seasoning. Um, this is just one that I'm choosing to use on the pork chops today because I think it will pair well with the baked potato. I'm using some coconut oil to cook these pork chops up. That's just my oil of choice. You can of course use whatever oil you choose. But um, that's something that I always have on hand. And now I'm just What's handing off the plates. Now? There's kid number one. This is to my grandmother. And this is to kid number two. And my daughter didn't want to have anything to do with it. So pizza it is. All right. So now <coughs> my daughter's in here with me. She's <coughs> feeling fine. She's just coughing. She's three. Um, I need okay. something to poke this, so I'm not going to use this right now, but I'll show this to you. Um, I'm going to put some oil in my hair because I lost a good amount of my hair. Um, actually, you can see it now it's growing, starting to grow back. Um, this was completely gone, I and it was probably about, I mean, to be honest, I could say it was like almost the size of this I, I lost, but um, we're past that now. Um, I've now been trying to put stuff in my hair. I do diet and I still am going to continue to diet, but I know that it does damage my hair. So I am, I bought some oils. I've made some oils. So this is actually a rosemary oil. I made some for my grandmother too, because she, uh, she just finished going through chemo and she, um, is growing her hair all back now. So this really is really good for 
her, her growth. Um, so I'll put like a recipe for it um, in, in the description. But um, it's really easy to make. Like I've watched so many Mommy. videos. You could probably Mommy. just look. Yes. I hit my show. Are you okay? Yeah, I just hit my head. You hit your head. I'm my show. Careful, okay? I love you. I love you too. Mommy, what you doing? <laughs> I'm just explaining my hair oils because I'm going to put some hair oil in my hair. Would you like to put some in yours? Yeah. Okay. Of course you can. Okay. So this is Of course you can put my hair right here. Oil. Okay. This is really of good for your skin. Can. For your nails, like your cuticles. I can and, put my hair um, on. I don't, oh. wouldn't put it on my face. My face is way too sensitive for anything. It breaks out all the time. But I am going to put it on my hair and whatever residual I do, like rub it on like my elbows or just like on my skin because it smells so good. It's it, These are like little dried rose petals. And um, I got this off of Amazon. <laughs> I don't remember how much it was, but I really don't think it was that much, to be honest. And... Um, it's great. I just use like a little bit comes in this has like this little dropper. I'll show you now. So I just like drop a little bit in my hand and I'll just put it in my hair. So since my rosemary oil is now solidified because it's getting kind of a little cold in California. I think today it was like, um, I don't know, like maybe like 67 this morning <laughs> when I was dropping the kids off. And that's kind of chilly, you know, like my seven-year-old you know he has to wear pants mommy, look when, it's at that, me. when it's that cold mommy, but it does warm up mommy look at me wow i put my my scissors on but i take the rosemary oil and i'll put that in my hands my that fingertips and just like massage it into my scalp but mommy, with this i will just kind of keep this on my root or i'm sorry excuse me i'll i'll just keep this on my ends and Ow. i'm not Usually we'll do this during my week because when I'm working I'll tie my hair up or I'll well yeah I'll pretty much like have it braided or I I'll do something with it where it's tied back um, and I don't mind if it's like in a bun and it's all oily whatever I'm just working so and it's like all slick back then you know so but um. And then when it becomes, when it's like Friday, that's when I'll wash my hair because it's the weekend and I want to have some fresh hair for whatever I, it is that I get into. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to kind of rub this in to my hair, the ends. Mom, you look it. Wow. Stop it. No, 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 don't do that. Mommy. <sighs> Anybody doing? that has long hair when you're at home and you're being lazy and you don't want to, like when I cook, my hair's up because you see it, like if you looked at my sink, it's disgusting right now. And I do not want that in my food. And I'm pretty sure my children, my family appreciate that as well. <laughs> so I usually have it up when I'm doing stuff. But right now, I'm just going to put her to bed. I've got to brush her teeth, brush my teeth, and take this makeup off. Um, maybe I'll do like a whole skincare, like what I use to take care of my skin. Because to be honest, I've been really awful about it. I have not been taking care of my skin with like, in, it's only been recent that I've been doing this. So, but um, I'm getting better. <laughs> so maybe we'll try that right now. Sometime. But anyway. Thanks for watching.